Hello everyone and welcome to the Melee Calculator 2.0 tutorial. If you haven't seen the first one, click this annotation here, as this video will be only for the new features. Firstly, let's look at the new throws. When you select a throw, you will see that the trajectory is offset by the throw's release point. Let's use the new zoom feature to get a better look. On the stage panel, there's a plus and a minus button to zoom in and out, or you can use the slider. There are two new trajectory icons, the circle with an A representing the frame the thrower becomes actionable, and the diamond representing the last hit stun frame. Also, when hovering over the starting point, instead of showing the hit lag, it will instead show the release frame. Next we will look at the combo feature. I've selected Falco Shine, and will make another trajectory of Falco's Dare. When I turn combo snapping on, located on the victim panel, which can also be toggled with the C key, and I then move the dare towards the shine, it will snap together forming a combo. When a combo is formed, the stale queue, victim character, and the victim percent will automatically update according to the first trajectory. Another effect of combo snapping is knockback stacking. As I change the frame the dare connects, see how its trajectory is affected. Likewise, if I change the DI of the first trajectory, this will also alter the trajectory of the second here. With this feature I can connect as many trajectories together as I like. I have also added in a second SCI selector. If I hit Q, the animation in game speed will play for the active trajectory. I can turn the volume up and down in the top panel. If I hit A, <coughs> an animation will play for all trajectories. Use the hotkey viewer in the top panel to see all available hotkeys and what they do. Hitting O will bring up the last feature. This window will show you everything the app calculates in text format, including positions and velocity axes for every frame of every trajectory. Lastly, sharing works like normal, and all your previously made URLs will now be compatible with all the new features. Thanks for watching.